Hi, my name is Jennifer Buer Kane. I am assistant professor here in the Department of Sociology. I received my training in uh, sociology and demography from Penn State in 2011, and from there went to the University of North Carolina, where I received um, some unique cross-disciplinary training in economics, uh, reproductive epidemiology, and um, some advanced spatial modeling using a Bayesian perspective. Um, my research looks at uh, understanding how the early life environment can stratify um, adult health outcomes that we observe across um, various uh, uh, subgroups in the U.S. Um, with the ultimate goal of understanding how social inequality is reproduced across generations. And that's um, uh, particularly why I chose to come to UCI. Um, there's really great work, um, interdisciplinary work and cross-disciplinary work being done to understand um, social mobility, social, how social inequality is reproduced across generations, and then specifically how um, health inequalities can be stratified by race. Um, there's also a really um, interesting um, group that um, uh, is here that is, is using the advanced spatial modeling that I uh, learned during my time at UNC, so I'm very excited to be here. Hello, my name is Simone Chambers and I'm a professor of political science. Um, I'm coming from the University of Toronto in Canada and I got my PhD at the University of Columbia uh, in uh, New York City. My research is in political science and political theory in specific. I do, uh, I study democracy and I study why citizens should participate more than they do and why it's important that they participate, not just in voting, but why they should participate in all sorts of other ways uh, in politics and democracy. And this is a very exciting year because we're heading towards an election in the United States. Um, the University of California, Irvine is a very attractive place to be. It's a growing campus. It's got a great research agenda and the political science department is very strong. And it's wonderful to be here and I'm very happy to have moved to UC Irvine. My name is Laura Enriquez. I'm an assistant professor in Chicano Latino Studies. I received my PhD from UCLA in Sociology and I spent the last year here as a UCI Chancellor's Advanced Postdoctoral Fellow in Sociology. My research is on the experiences of undocumented young adults who came to the U.S. at a young age and have been here ever since. I've done work on their educational experiences and also political participation, but most recently have focused on their family formation experiences, looking specifically at how dating, marriage, and parenting are all affected by immigration laws. One of the most interesting findings there is that immigration laws not only affect the experiences of these undocumented young adults, but are also impacting the lives of their citizen partners and children. I picked UCI because of the fantastic colleagues that are here, and I'm very excited to join the Chicano Latino Studies Department, but also because of the fantastic work that's also being done in other departments around campus. My name is Rachel Goldberg, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Sociology. I came here from Princeton University where I was a postdoctoral fellow in the Office of Population Research and the Center for Research on Child Wellbeing. And I got my PhD from Brown University in Sociology in 2012. Um, my research looks at uh, uh, social factors that influence the health and well-being of youth in the United States and in Sub-Saharan Africa. One of my major research projects in the United States focuses on adolescent relationships and teen participants fill out short surveys every other week over the course of a year um, using smartphones and other mobile devices. And the, the aim of the study um, is to help us better understand how adolescents' relationships affect their health and well-being and also what, social, um, what, what family and other social factors tend to sort adolescents into good and bad relationships. Another project of mine looks um, at how the likelihood of teen pregnancy varies between first, second, and higher immigrant generation youth and, um, and why these differences exist. And most of my research in Sub-Saharan Africa relates to the HIV AIDS epidemic and in particular examines both um, what puts adolescents at risk of HIV and also how adult morbidity and mortality um, affects youth well-being. Um, and I came to UCI both because it's a major 
uh, you know, world-class research institution and also uh, because the department itself was a, a perfect fit for my research and teaching interests. My name is Brian Jenkins and I'm a lecturer with potential for security of employment in the Department of Economics where I'm also currently the director of undergraduate studies. Before coming to UCI, I got my PhD from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And then I spent two years as a visiting assistant professor in the University of Montana in Missoula, Montana. I came to UCI two years ago and started as a lecturer in the Department of Economics. I came down here with my, my spouse, Jay Jenkins, who is a, on the faculty in the Department of Education where she studies early childhood education policy. It turns out that UCI has been an excellent place for us to both work with, with great people who do what we enjoy doing. My current research or my research interests are in macroeconomics, monetary policy, and central banking. My current research project focuses on the buildup of excess reserves in the banking system in the United States during the financial crisis of 2008. In September of 2008, there was a large buildup of excess reserves, and I find that if we model banks as risk-averse entities, then we can explain this buildup in excess reserves as a natural consequence of banks responding to the, the increasing financial uncertainty. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Kopstein. I'm the chair of the Department of Political Science and a professor in the Department of Political Science here at UC Irvine. I just moved from the University of Toronto about a month ago and I'm very excited to be here and I'm excited because I have terrific colleagues. It's one of the things that attracted me here. And um, also I'm a graduate of La Jolla High School in San Diego, so this is a kind of a homecoming to California for me after being out of the United States for 12 years. Um, my research is on the subject of ethnic violence at the beginning of the Holocaust and why it is that in some towns um, the, the locals without any outside support uh, turned on and committed acts of violence against their Jewish neighbors but in most other places they didn't so I'm trying to figure out why this happened why uh, multiculturalism works in some places and why it turns bad in others. Hi uh, my name is John Manchek and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Logic and Philosophy of Science. Uh, I'm most recently coming from the University of Washington in Seattle um, and I got my PhD here at UCI back in 2009. Uh, my current research is on uh, Einstein's theories of space and time. Uh, they allow for a wide variety of crazy universes and I'm trying to figure out which ones are too crazy. Uh, why UCI? Well, I guess this is where the party's at. Um, there's lots of great research being done here right now and I can talk to people about what I'm up to in a way that I, I, I can't do almost anywhere else in the world. Hi, my name is Emery Nefchi. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Cognitive Sciences. I came here from Switzerland where I did my physics at APFL Lausanne and um, I did my PhD at ETH Zurich um, in neuroinformatics. Prior to coming here, I did my postdoc at UCSD in the Institute of Neural Computation. Um, my passion is to create computing systems that work more like the brain. And my approach to this problem is to combine two fields, um, machine learning and neuroscience. The machine learning gives us the principles and the theory as to how artificials, artificial systems can solve complex tasks. The neuroscience gives us the anatomical, the architectural, and the dynamical insights into how the brain could implement such processes. The, um, the, the aim of this research is both in understanding how the brain works by actually synthesizing them or building them. A byproduct of this is to um, build new information processing uh, technologies that work uh, more like the brain. I came to UCI because it's, this is um, a very uh, young university with a lot of dynamical um, ideas, um, a very dynamical department that I'm joining here at the Cognitive Sciences, and especially a very interdisciplinary approach to, to understanding how the brain works. Hello, my name is Damien Sojourner. I'm an assistant professor in anthropology here at UC Irvine. Uh, previously, I held a post in Africana Studies at Scripps College uh, in Claremont. I got my uh, PhD from the University of Texas at Austin. My research focuses on the relationship between schools and prisons in Los Angeles. And I'm excited to come here uh, to UC Irvine because they are great, great members in the faculty department uh, in Anthro and also work with the dynamic graduate students as well. 
Hi, my name is Sabrina Strings. I'm an assistant professor of sociology here at UC Irvine. And I'm originally from Southern California, actually. I was born in Pasadena. And it's been very exciting for me to return to Southern California after doing some research in um, Northern California at Berkeley and also all the way across the country in Pennsylvania. Um, I got my PhD at the University of California, San Diego in 2012. And even that, it's very different from Irvine, very different from Pasadena, so I'm really getting to tour the entirety of Southern California, which is exciting for me, so it's great to find out about a new area. My current research is about how race, uh, sex, including sexuality, and class are embodied, and how the body is then used to maintain or to challenge social inequality. And so I'm looking at this in three different areas, in the history of science and the history of medicine, in contemporary medicine, and in the contemporary media. And part of what I'm trying to do with this research is to investigate the trajectory of historical forms of oppression. In what ways have they stayed the same? In what ways have they changed? And if they've changed what are the reasons? And finally, what are the things that we can do right now that can start to undermine and um, unearth existing inequalities? And in terms of why UC Irvine, I met some of the most amazing people here. Um, not only were they extremely welcoming when I came down for a visit, but they were also doing some fantastic research to ask me some wonderful questions about my research that really changed my idea about what I would do and pushed me to think more critically about how best to shape the work that I'm doing. So for me, um, not only does it give me a chance to return to Southern California, so my home, and to see a new part of Southern California, which is uh, Orange County, but also it gives me um, a great department, wonderful colleagues, and fantastic resources. So it's really been a boon for me. I'm very excited.